Good evening, Tisha. Hello, Yolanda. How are you? Fine. And you, teacher? Um, so, so. I had a very busy day. I'm kind of tired. We're about to start, get ready. Well, before your the rest of your classmates um, get to the class or attend the class, I'm gonna describe my routine. Well, I woke up at around six six a.m. in the morning. I went to the bathroom and then. Uh, I upload the video because for me it's better to upload the video the next day. That means early in the morning because at night it takes a long time. And I had to be on the look, lookout and, you know, being awake and sleeping in bed. So that's why I upload the video the next day. Well, after that, I took a shower and they get dressed. I was like to shave in the morning, then uh, put on the other end perfume. I have a big breakfast. Uh, I ate uh, fried beans, plenty and cheese with uh, five pieces of bread and a cup of, big cup of coffee. After that, I brush my teeth and I commute to work. It takes me 10 minutes. It's a 10 minute walk from my house to my job. I got there, then I start working in the office. Right now, I already finished giving classes or teaching. So I spend all the whole day um, 
uh, in front of the computer. That was my day. I I had a good a lunch and all, also yuca frita for for dinner. I didn't expect the, that dinner because I didn't see anything, but surprisingly we had yuca with chicharron and it was delicious. Now I feel a little, um, a little tired, but here I am. So I want someone who can write, who can read this, this instruction. Maria Fernanda, can you read this, please? I I read. Ah, oh, no, pardon. Hey, read as prof. We write a professional email to a coworker. Confirm that you need to meet with her, him tomorrow. April the suggestion from X five. All right. Thank you. Most of the instruction you read in the you have read them well, but let me let me repeat. Write a professional email to a coworker. Confirm that you need to meet her or meet him. Tomorrow apply the suggestions from exercise five. All right, that's what we're gonna do. You're going to understand the instructions. Do you understand the instructions? Yes. Yeah, yeah, everybody? Okay. But you're not going to write it right now. We're going to watch a video about how to write or what are the steps to write an email, okay? You're going to work in groups and you're going to send an email, but a real email, okay? To a coworker. Let me see if that that's the, the exercise. Uh, let me let me uh no, you did this yesterday, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah, we did it. This is the one. Sorry. Number six says. Send your mail to a partner and copy to your facilitator. In this case, me. This is my email. Here's my, my email, okay? You're going to exchange email when you are in groups. Before, before this activity, we are going to watch a video, okay? So send your mail to a partner and copy to your facilitator, okay? So that's me. Reply, reply the mails you receive from your classmate, okay? You have to answer the mails and you have to make like a, uh, captures and send it to me, okay? So right now, let's go to the video.
Ready? Techniques for learning to write formal and informal emails at bone level. One, understanding the purpose, tailoring your message. Every email serves a purpose, be it requesting information, expressing gratitude, or even just saying hello. Before you start typing, take a moment to clearly define the objective of your email. This will guide your tone structure and choice of words, ensuring your message hits the mark. 2. Structuring your email, the art of clear organization. A well-structured email is a joy to read. Start with a concise and engaging introduction followed by the main body where you provide the necessary details. Finally, wrap it up with a polite conclusion. This logical flow not only makes your email more coherent, but also helps the recipient navigate the information effortlessly. 3. Tone and Language – Striking the Right Balance The tone of your email sets the stage for the conversation. Informal emails maintain a professional and respectful tone, using appropriate language. For informal emails, you can be more relaxed, but always ensure your language remains polite. Avoid jargon or slang unless you are certain the recipient will understand. 4. Politeness and Etiquette Building Rapport Politeness goes a long way in email communication. Simple gestures like using please and thank you can make your email more pleasant. Additionally, be mindful of the recipient's time. If your email requires a response, consider using a clear call to action to prompt a reply. Sorry. If we have no um, no answer with this video. Vacation. Simple uh, gestures like. Like using please and thank you can make your email more pleasant. Additionally, be mindful of the recipient's time. If your email requires a response, consider using a clear call to action to prompt a reply. 5. Proofreading the key to error-free emails. Before you hit that send button, always proofread your email. Spelling mistakes, grammatical errors, or even typos can undermine the professionalism of your message. Take the time to review your email, ensuring it's polished and error-free. 6. Subject line, crafting a compelling preview. 
The subject line is like a movie trailer for your email. It should be concise yet captivating, giving the recipient a glimpse of what's to come. A well-crafted subject line not only increases the chances of your email being opened, but also sets the tone for the conversation. 7. Attachments and formatting presenting information effectively. If your email includes attachments, clearly mention them in the body and ensure theory properly labeled. When it comes to formatting, simplicity is key. Use paragraphs, bullet points, or numbered lists to break down information. 8. Responding to emails, promptness and professionalism. In the digital realm, promptness is valued. Aim to respond to emails within a reasonable time frame. When replying, maintain the same level of professionalism and attention to detail as you would in your initial email. 9. Cultural Sensitivity, Navigating Global Communication In today's interconnected world, it's crucial to be aware of cultural differences in email communication. What may be considered appropriate in one culture could be seen as disrespectful in another. Taking the time to understand and respect these nuances can prevent misunderstandings and foster positive relationships. 10. Continuous Learning, Growing Your Email Writing Skills Email writing, like any other skill, can be honed with practice. Actively seek feedback, read professional emails, and stay updated with the latest trends. By embracing a growth mindset, you will not only become a proficient email writer, but also adapt to the ever-evolving digital landscape. Conclusion, Unlocking the Potential of Email Communication Emails are more than just text on a screen. Fiery opportunities to connect, collaborate, and make a lasting impression. By mastering the techniques Wave discussed today, you will be well equipped to navigate the intricacies of email communication both in your personal and professional life. So go ahead, start crafting those impactful emails and watch as doors open and relationships flourish. Thank you for watching and happy emailing. Person. Person. <laughs> Hello, teacher. How are you? Okay, let's go back to our presentation. And uh, in other words, remember yesterday we were talking about the parts of the of emails. Okay, so remember the salutation, you have to be concise and brief, go straight to the point, and at the end, um, closing phrase. Do not use abbreviations, do not use only capitals, uh, what else? What were the tips? Remember what were the tips? Add a signature. Okay, add a signature, like who is sending it, right? Your name, your phone number. Okay, like contact, contact information. Okay, they can send it by email, right? But uh, they, your WhatsApp or, you know, more contact information. Now, 
Do you understand the activity that you are going to send a mail to a partner and copy to me? Yes or no? Okay, good. We're going to work in groups. In that group, you're going to write a, you're going to uh, choose the partner who are you sending the email to. You're going to reply that mail, okay? And I wanna see the, the captures of those emails, okay? Uh, use your uh, email account. Here's my email in the chat because you have to copy that. Okay, you have to copy that to me. Let's start. Okay, JC.
Hello there. Hi there. Do you need some more time? Just let me know. Do you need more time? Just let me know. Thank 
I got your your email, uh, David. Only one email. Hello. I got your email right now. I send I send a a shot to the group to the WhatsApp group. Thank you. You follow the instructions. What about the rest of the class? I only have one email, and that email is from David. What happened to the rest of the class? No, 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 aclararon eso en los grupos. What happened? Send your email to a partner and copy to your facilitator. What happened? Sí, lo enviamos, teacher, pero uh, en los compañeros, pero usted no se lo enviamos. Ah, ¿y qué pasó con esto? Pues dice, send your mail to a partner and copy to your facilitator. Mm. Okay, send it right now. Come on, be quick. Ahorita se lo vamos a mandar. Okay, yeah. That's the attitude. We can do it. We can do it. Is big talks. Yes. 51 at gmail.com. In English, please, in English. Oh. 
Oh, here, Maria Fernanda says, so let me see. Okay, yeah. Good, Fernanda. Ya se le envié, teacher, me confirma de recibido, si le llega. Okay. Okay, I got it. Orgy meeting. Okay, got Fernandez and David. Only two females. Two out of 15. All right. Let's call the attendance. Adriana Lisette Chavez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Diana Elizabeth Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Flor de María Valladares. Present, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Javier Quinteros. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gerson Osvaldo Deras. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Quevedo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Emina Membreño. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Nayeli Machado. Está de oyente, teacher. Okay. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda. Present. María Fernanda Morán. Present. Merari Andrea Sánchez. Present. Sergio David Leiva. Present. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. Walter Amilca Ramírez. Jenny Carolina Tobar. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Now, let's go. Let's talk about interests. Okay, I'm, I'm getting your emails right now. Yes, I got Diana. Diana. That's it on Diana. Okay. Interest. What interests you the most? Languages? Uh, cars, cars, sports, collecting, etc. Friends, in your opinion, what makes a good friend? For you, what are the requisites that a person must have 
to be a good friend. A school, tell me about a good memory from a school. Do you remember your best friend or your first friend from school? Do you remember your favorite teacher? What was his or her name? What was your favorite subject? Etc. You can ask many questions about school. Work. If you could change your job, what would it be? I would like to be a race car pilot, a racing car pilot. Okay. Movies. What movie do you recommend the most to others? What's your favorite movie? Who's your favorite actor? What kind of movie do you like? Ring. Ring, ring. Okay, let's go to the groups and discuss the five uh, last, two, uh, the, I mean, from six to 10. Okay, the last five questions. Please avoid speaking Spanish. Let's start.
Ring, ring. Okay, thanks Diana for sharing the picture. Shut. All right. Okay, how was how was the conversation? Did you had a good conversation? Did you talk about movies? It's a good teacher. All right. What's your favorite movie, Yolanda? My favorite movie is Terror or 
comedic uh, no but but no no the action oh, Li li was listen, uh, listen uh, what's uh, your favorite movie uh rapido and furio ah uh, uh, fast and furious ah uh, fast and furious but that is a saga uh, fast sorry. and fast and furious saga because okay. we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know how many are they. That's a saga. Yeah. Like Twilight is a saga. Harry Potter is a saga. So is a saga. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice aguinaldo in English? Bonus. Uh, okay. Christmas bonus. Oh, so you're ready. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> Okay, uh, Herson, what kind of movies do you like? I like um, serious oh. and and como se dice menos, o sea, un poco porque no me gustan mucho las películas, sino que más series. Serious. So you like serious the most. Okay. You like serious the most. Okay, good. I, I, I was I was thinking that you like doramas. But no, right? <laughs> it's a it's a joke. It's a joke. Okay. Let's continue. Here we have another activity. This is communication at the workplace. And they says, yeah, are we able to provide written and oral instructions on etiquette at the workplace. Okay, so you're going to provide. Okay. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Etiquette. Etiquette, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we have etiquette at, in the workplace. Yes or no? Yes. What about the receptionist? Have you have you listened to the receptionist when she answered the phone? Yeah. Yes or no? What's her language when she speaks? She has phrases. Yeah, she says, uh, "Good morning. This is uh, Yolanda Perez, uh, or, or this is." Uh, Arquitectos de SADCB, this is Yolanda. And okay, so you have an etiquette to answer. You have an etiquette to um, um, talk to the clients. Yes or no? That's the etiquette. All right. Now, it says, mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Are these rules important? Why? People that works at a bank, they have etiquette. People that works on, uh, well, any place, all the places have etiquette. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the presentation with oh, the like the uh, the dress code yes dress code uniform no sé cómo yeah, se dice uh, yeah. uniform uniform uh -huh. we're uniform yeah in the in the banks is very i mean they're very strict 
in the banks. People have to wear very uh, formal and uh, haircut, uh, well shaped. I mean, makeup. Yeah, this is a like a discipline. Also, if you work in a in a, a school in a school, well, there are places that you have to wear and um, follow the etiquette of the place. And let's continue with another activity. In this, you are going to read the article on, on workplace etiquette guidelines, then identify the key detail to answer the comprehension question. But I want you to, to read. Everybody's going to read, okay? So, Maria Fernanda, you have the first paragraph. Uh, Flor de Maria, the second one, the second paragraph. Diana has the third paragraph. And Gerson has the fourth paragraph. But first, I'm going to record the pronunciation after that you are going to listen and after that you're going to make questions when we do those four steps then you start reading okay okay let's see where right here you are good etiquette at the workplace there are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had a, an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to, if you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace, email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of Telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating, and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions.
Okay. Now listen to the to the recording, please. Ring, 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 ring. Ready? Do you have any questions? No questions? Teacher, yes. Yes. To wow you. Hello. You didn't listen to my audio. Oh, you're yes. listening. Ah, oh, you're listening. Okay. Yes. Okay.
questions or we start? Uh -huh. I start. Okay, so we start with uh, Maria Fernanda, Flor de Maria, Diana, and Herson. That's the order. One, two, three, four. Okay, start, please. Good uh, etiquette at the workplace. The, there are many workplace etiquette uh, guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. In, if you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. Uh, however, habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office one time, you show that you are responsible, responsible. and responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guidelines will be to call the concert authority, authority. authority and report the reason why you are late. Thank you, Maria Fernanda. Lord. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In this case, it, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email, etiquette of other countries in the official email. You need to mention so clearly and be concise you could also need to include all the important detail you should use formal in grammar in grammatical grammatically language grammatical Lee, correct Lee. Language, grammatically yes correct correct language uh, for email Hey, in very addition, good. no Ooh, Okay, yeah, okay, just uh, very good, Flor. I'm sorry, Diana. Continue. Okay. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they say careful, car, ay, carefully, carefully, and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Wow. Hey. Very good. Continue, my friend. El audio. El audio, Herson. Excuse me. Your mic. Your mic. <laughs> Ahí va con todo. <laughs> ya había terminado, teacher. Uh, repeat. <laughs> Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. Uh -huh. If you get a call when are meeting, no, eating, say, excuse me and then receive to call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners. Yeah, sorry, sorry. The movie. Yeah, sorry, that, that's my Behavior point. and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promos promotion. 
right, thank you. Very good, the first four, let's continue. Let's continue, the first four. The Fantastic Four, the Fantastic Four. <laughs> okay, Yolanda, where are you? No, Fernanda. Okay, I'm gonna call David, first paragraph. Then we have Karen, second one. Uh, Carla, are you there? This is sad. Merari? El último párrafo es... No, no the third no, one. Ah, no, el anterior. The third one, ajá. Uh -huh. And... Yeah, okay. Kimberly, the last one. In addiction, can... 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 Ay, se me traba. Okay, repeat. Bueno. Don't worry. This, this is... This is practicing, okay? We are practicing. Okay. In addiction, can write of... Telephone etiquette no, in the wait, workplace. Wait, 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 sorry, but quien tiene el primer par? Me. I... Ah, okay, okay. David first, then I call. ¿A quién le dije el número dos? Merari. Merari. El, el número tres me dio. Número tres. 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 Y nada, pues. Ok. Let's, let's order again, ok. Vamos a ver. Yolanda, first. Paragraph. Okay. David, second. Ok. David, okay, okay. second. Paragraph, okay? ok. Karen, are you there? Karen. Sí, teacher. Ok, number three. And okay. let me see this boy, JC. Sometimes you have are you there, JC? Or clients in any JC, JC. Those cases. No, JC, va. JC no responde. Mire. Okay, Carla. That you will be late. Then a Dureri get Dyla. Hola, teacher. Disculpe, pero es que soy de oyente porque no estoy en la casa. Ah, no va, va. Señal, por eso. Ah, va. Ok, 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 ok. okay. Tranquilo. No, Carla, and then we have Diana. To communicate with employees. Diana, the last one. In any part of okay. the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good... Luego le damos a Merari de nuevo. Ya participó Diana, ¿O no? ¿Qué no, hay, teacher? Hello? No. Diana, no, 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 no ha participado. No participado, no. no. Ok. Ok, uh, we start, Yolanda. There are many workplace etiquette. You delineate, but the most important is to be punctual to your office if you are late because you have an emergency that is okay. However, Habitual lay commerce are never appreciated in any organization is you get to your office on time. You show that you are responsible and you respect the organization is you know that you will be late. Then a, a good etiquette get the like will be to call the connects authority 
and report the reason why you are late. Okay, Yolanda, thank you. Okay, I recommend you to listen to the audio. Listen to the audio. Okay, teacher. Parece que no lo escucho. Okay, start, Yolanda. Don't be lazy. Okay, continue, please. Next. Etiquette is also important when you have to com communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In, in the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. Concise. You, concise. you also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. All right. Uh, not bad, not bad, sir. You only just kind of word that grammatically, grammatically, Gram I, I grammatically. Know. Okay, okay. Grammatic. okay. Grammatic. And listen and pay attention to this. All the class, listen, listen. Todos los adverbios, porque este es un adverbio, miren, grammatically. Todos los que terminen en Cali, o sea, ahí dice Cali, ¿verdad? Porque el español se mete, ¿verdad? Pero todo lo que dice en Cali se va. La pronunciación final es cli. Cli. Okay. Cli. Glam, grammatically. Ese es un patrón ya. ¿Ok? Grammatically. Okay. All right. So, okay. cuando, usted vea, cuando usted vea Cali, ahí va a mencionar cli. ¿Ok? Good. Next. Thank you, David. Ok. Good. Continue. En ok, teacher. Ah. En adicción... Con knowledge, con knowledge. ¿Cómo oh, knowledge, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during or or daily work. Be 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 be, be polite. Be polite. We we do we do that ah, to when, your when employees. You, when you talk. When you talk to your employees, or the supervisor listen to what they say. Careful. And don't not interrupt. Be sure your voice. Is clear when you speak to a boy or wrong in interpret interpretation interpretation interpretation. Okay, thank you, thank you. Listen okay, to the, listen to the audio. Okay, teacher. listen to the audio and practice. Okay, practice. Okay, okay next. Who's next? Diana. Hello. We have no Diana here. Hi, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Tell me. Sorry. The last, the last, uh, read, please read the last uh, paragraph. Okay. Etiquette get line guide see guide guide guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your co-workers. If you get a call when you are eating, say excuse me and then receive the call. Do not talk loud, loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you you chief you should remember that you your behavior and manners 
are under observation, follow following etiquette guidelines can play every bit can play a very vital role for the for future prom promotion promotions promotions thank you okay thank you remember we need to practice reading reading and pronunciation okay now let's continue i have like some other uh classmates like merari you have the first paragraph Okay. Number but wait, one. Yeah, but wait, wait, wait. Undistributed. Kimberly, number two. Franci wait, okay, Francisco, number three. And Jacqueline, number four. Okay, Merari, start. There are many workplace etiquette well named, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you have an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual late commerce are never appraised appraised in any organization organization if you get to your off on time you show that you are responsible and and you respect the organization if you if you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette could lay will be to care to care the connecting authority and report the race what you are late. All right, thank you. Okay, listen to the audio and Practice, listen and practice, okay? Listen and practice, all right? Good, next, Ed etiquette, Ed etiquette. Ed etiquette. Etiquette is most important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In this case, it is necessary to have good knowledge, knowledge of the workplace, workplace email etiquette um, of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention to just to suggest clearly clearly and be mm -hmm. concise. We also need to include uh, the important details you show your formal and grammatical grammatical Grammatically, correct, grammatically. Correct language for emails. Okay, thank you. Um, not bad, but it seems like you're not paying attention. No sé, ¿dónde estaba cuando yo expliqué lo de grammatically? Sí, lo escuché, pero me olvidé. Ah, ah, ah. Son muchas palabras, oh. teacher. Ah, no, 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 no. No excuses. No excuses. You are a student. You are a student. And students study. Yeah? Students study. Las excusas son para los procrastinators. Ya saben que es un procrastinador, ¿verdad? No, diga noticia para aprender un, la un, palabra. Un, un procrastinator is a person that always delay their responsibilities. Ay, mañana. Ay, Procrastinating. 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 Hay Pro que estar posponiendo lo que va a hacer. Ah, tengo tiempo, tengo tiempo. No, 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 no. Never time. You need to study. You need to make an effort. So no excuses, okay? No excuses. All right. In addition, 
Who's next? In addition, knowledge or telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during oh, yeah. our daily work. The polite way to talk to your employees or the supervisor. Listen to what they beautiful. Carefully. No, beautiful. Carefully. Carefully. Uh, carefully. And do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to a boy wrong interpretation. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Good. Way to go. Thank you. Etiquette guidelines will continue. Ah, uh, Mia, I'm here. <laughs> all right, all right. Etiquette guidance are important even are important even when you are celebrating with your co-worker. If you you get a call when you are the eating, say excuse me and then res receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you shoot. Sure. You should remember that your this word behavior I, behavior behave, and behave. behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette buildings can play and very and very vital and very vital role for future promo, promo, uh, promotion promotions okay listen to the audio thank you everybody thank you remember we are practicing our english we are practicing yeah we are studying Vamos a cometer errores? Yes. But only once. Okay, only once. Check the word, listen to the word, pronounce the word, practice the word, memorize the word. Okay? Porque voy a decir, however, however, y luego a la siguiente, ya se me olvidó, ¿verdad? Why? Because you don't study. Concern authority. Reason. Need a reason. And the reason is you. ¿Qué pasó con la canción? Aquí está reason. All right? So, pay attention. There are some words that I knew, like knowledge. Mouth. Mouth. Your mouth. Yeah? Parts of the body. Y todas las que terminan en shun. Shun, shun, need it? Observation, promotions, interpretations. Es la misma pronunciación al final. Son patrones de pronunciación. Memorize that, okay? Memorize that. Okay, voy a sacar todas las palabras que dejen shun. Okay, organization, organization, promotions, interpretations. Observations. Ya se fijó. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, teacher. All right. Good. Let's continue. Ta -da. Let me see. Walter, are you there? No contest. Adriana? Sí, okay, number one. Okay. Number one. Eh, Walter. Walter, only, only, only Adriana. Let me see. Están todos. 
Okay, dele. Two paragraphs. Adriana, two paragraphs, one and two. There are many workplace etiquette gland, gland Gu guide, guidelines guidelines but the most important is to be punctual to your office if you are late because you had an emerging emergency that is okay however habitual late commerce are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerning auto authority and report the reason why you are late. Continue. <laughs> two etiquette. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or client, client clients in clients in any part of the world. world. In those in those cases cases no sé, cases. cases, cases. Cases it, it is necessary to have good knowledge knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries in the in the official emails you need to main, mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important delay, the, the, the late. You should use formal and grammatic, grammatic, grammatically correct language for emails all right thank you okay recommendations i know you having problem reading this yeah okay that's it but there are the first time the first time then the second time is gonna be it's gonna get better the third time the fourth time wow then you're going to have a good pronunciation of all these words, okay? If you don't memorize the words, you're going to do it if you practice, you don't practice. Okay, profe, y voy a estar leyendo el mismo, el, el, el mismo artículo. No, you can, you can uh, access to internet and read other paragraphs, short paragraph, like an exercise, okay? But do it. Si no lo hace, no va a mejorar. All right, you have to study. Por eso dije, students study. Yeah, students study. If a student doesn't study, it's not a student. Es lógica. Es lógica. Si es estudiante, estudia. Si no estudia, no es estudiante. Huh? Y usted es un estudiante del idioma inglés. Estudie. All right. For, uh, for me, I'm, I'm satisfied because you are, you are probably, o sea, te amo tercer curso, de a decir, teacher, ter, yeah, but we need to, 
Mm -hmm. Darle duro, okay? Okay, now we, we have another exercise. Let me see. And here you're gonna choose one of these um, uh, options. If you are late, you should A, B, or C. Number two, what is a tip to apply in official emails, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone? If you receive a call while you're eating with coworker, you should, okay? Please work individually and send it to the chat, okay? Send to the chat. Send your responses to the chat, to the Zoom. Oh, thank you, Diana. All right, all right. Um,
Okay, guys, Sergio, different. And Kimberly, okay, Kimberly and Sergio have the same answers. I have Maria Fernandez too. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a good number. One more message, Yolanda. Ah, oh, okay. One more message. Okay, Harrison, compensate the time, spread the subject clearly, use pol polite language, leave the table and enter the call. All right. If you know you are late, you should. Compensate that time? No. Call the person you report to? Yes. So it's B. You have to call. I call my boss when I'm late. Hey, listen. I'm stuck in the traffic or I'm going to the doctor, I'm, I'm sick, but I have to, if I'm late, I report. I report. Number two, 
What is a tip to apply in official emails? Send the email in English, though. Use a long salutation, no. Express the subject clearly, yes. Yes. Which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone. Speak using clear voice, interrupt the other speaker, use polite language. Which is Inter not interrupt the other speaker. The other speaker. Yeah, the other speaker, yes. Better be. If you receive a call while, while you're eating with coworker, you should leave the table and answer the call, period. Let's go to the next slide. Okay. Now, you're going to summarize five etiquette guidelines from the article. Read the article again and summarize five etiquette guidelines and send it to the chat. Write, please. Read, read, and write. Let's do it. Mm. Yeah, but that is too little, David. Make a summary. Summarize by etiquette guidelines. Se escuchó cortado, teacher, no se escuchó bien. Ok, summarize, five etiquette guidelines. Sí, que me regañó. ¿Qué fue la señal? I'm sorry. Let me... Here. Ok, disculpen por la otra interrupción ahí. No problem. Ok, I'm sorry. Okay, let's finish this and then we call the attendance.
be punctual in the office and emails and mention the subject clearly. Use formal and grammatical language. Be polite when you talk to the employees or supervisors. Be sure your voice is clear. All right. But I only have Diana summarize or summary. Only one of you. What happened to the rest? Han caído. Mm -hmm. Nobody, nobody.
Okay, thank you. Was that in Spanish? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. My friends, I'm going to call the attendance. I wait for you. Adriana Lisa Chavez. Present. Diana Elizabeth Ramírez. Present. Lord de María Valladares. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Javier Quinteros. Present teacher. Gerson Waldo Deras. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Quevedo. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Ina Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Carla Nayeli Machado. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda. Present. Thank you. Maria Fernanda Morán. Present. Thank you. Mirari Andrea Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Sergio David Leiva. Present. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. Walter Amilcar Ramírez. Jenny Carolina Tobar. En Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. All right. So, this is it. We have classes tomorrow. So, good night. Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye, teacher. Good night.